The first thing that you want to do when you enter Stonehill is turn around and collect all of the chests you see back here. They can be kind of tricky if you don't know they're back there. And then once you do that, you just want to kind of run around the border, collect all the gems that you see while taking out the rams in the process to get their gems and not missing like I do. Um, you also want to take out all the other enemies that you see while doing this and just kind of circle the border and gradually make your way to the center until you get all of the gems that you see. Once you're finished searching the ground here, you want to head all the way to the left, go into this room where you're going to find your very first dragon and a whole lot of chests and gems. Once you leave that area, what you're going to do is just leave and head straight all the way to the right, collect all the gems you see in this tunnel, and then repeat the process that you did before, going around the bottom floor, breaking all of the chests, collecting all of the gems, and then killing all the rams and wizards, and make sure to look behind like the pillars and stuff, because there could be some gems that you might miss, even though you actually did pass over it. Once you're finished searching the ground, you want to head into this pillar here, teleport up where you'll find a chest and your second dragon. From there, what you want to do is basically just follow exactly what I do. You want to head over to this ledge over here, fly to it. And then you're going to kind of just collect the gems you see in your immediate area, but we're not going to search this whole thing yet. The first thing that you want to do is head over to the right and go over to this uh, house looking thing that you saw at the very beginning. And you want to go around the border and collect all the gems there. And then you want to jump down for further exploration. Once you jump down, you're going to see two more chests along with your third dragon. And then once you get all of this, you're going to jump down again, collect all of the gems that you see down below, kind of follow the path of the sand, and then you're going to head into the room over to the right. And inside that room is going to be a whole lot of other chests and gems and a key. And that key is going to be very important to getting 100% of this done. This is kind of like the secret room, one of the first secret rooms that you're going to see in Spyro. After you're done doing that, you just want to take the teleporter up, clear out that final room there, and then you want to head back to the initial teleporter that you took to get over there. So you're going to use that one more time, but rather than going over there again, you're just going to circle the entire perimeter of the upper level of the map, 
searching for all the gems and i'm going to collect all of them on camera for you so if you want to see where all the matches keep on watching but before we actually do that there's going to be your first egg that you need to find from the thief and these thieves are just little blue men you'll see them coming up here they say na 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 and just basically taunt you now the first one's pretty easy they all have a designed route that they run continuously and the goal is to just continue to run with them and eventually cut them off of the route till you get close enough to burn them and collect the egg and then the rest of this is just me kind of searching for the remainder gems that are kind of hidden up here in kind of obscure places Once you collect all of the remaining gems up on the upper level, you want to jump back down to the original spot where this well is at. Now, we passed this well completely prior because in here is going to be the remaining gems, that chest that you need to unlock with the key, and your final dragon. Now there's actually one more thing you need to do if you want to completely complete this level. You need to go back up to that same tower that I've been referencing. You're going to glide over here this time and kind of just go around to the pink tulip. You'll see where I burn it here. I kind of pointed out at the very beginning there, zooming in. Go around here and burn this specific tulip in order to get your second skill point. 